A lot of students sat for the NTA UGC net exam this month. Irrespective of the subject for which you gave the exam, I'm sure that some of you might have felt that the paper was really tough and you did not perform well. I know how hard you have worked, but there's something very important you must know. The net exam does not assess all of what makes you special and unique. The people who create these tests and score them do not know each of you like I do and certainly not the way your families do. They do not know that some of you can speak three languages or that you love to sing or draw. They have not seen your natural talent for dancing. They do not know that your friends count on you to be there for them. That your laughter can brighten up the darkest days or that your face turns red when you feel shy. They do not know that you participate in sports, wonder about the future, or sometimes you help your little brother or little sister after school. They do not know that you are kind, trustworthy and thoughtful, and every day you try to be your best. The scores you will get from these tests will tell you something, but they will not tell you everything. These tests do not define you. There are many ways of being smart. You are smart. You are enough. You are the light that brightens the day and the reason I'm happy to teach you each day. So in the midst of all of these exams, irrespective of the result you get, remember that there is no way to test all of that which makes you amazing, which makes you you. Life will keep on throwing challenges in forms of problems. Giving up would means certain and immediate defeat. Continuing one's efforts is the only guaranteed way to succeed. Edison said, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. One of his endeavors was to create a filament for electric bulb. It is said that he failed 10,000 times before succeeding in coming up with a tungsten filament bulb. When asked about his failures, do you know what he said? He said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Be like Edison and make this world shine. In a few days, you are going to get the result of your exams. And when you are going to see the answer sheet, answer key, and you are going to see the score that you have got, please remember three things. Number one, accept yourself at that point. Do not remain in the state of denial. Do not fall into the trap of telling yourself that you deserve more marks and you got less. Of course, you deserve much more in life. But for that, you will have to first accept the marks you have got now. After all, you have earned these marks and acceptance of these marks is a mark of acceptance of the self, the first step towards self-discovery. The second thing that you should remember, learn from your mistakes. Please do not remain sad about the poor result, but instead concentrate on the mistakes you have made and try to improve yourself in those areas. If you have failed, it does not mean that you are a bad student or that you are not smart enough. It simply means that there are loopholes in your studying method that you need to focus on. That's it. And third, become the best version of yourself. I want you all to work hard every single day and try to become the best version of yourself. Next time when you sit for net exam, you should be able to look at yourself in the mirror and say, Today, I'm going to be the best version of myself. And no matter what the result is, you have to again look at the mirror and tell yourself, I gave my best. Trust me, the result of that day will not matter to you anymore. You will still be at peace with yourself and feel happy and satisfied irrespective of the outcome. Wishing you all the best for the future. Thank you.